Hello and welcome back to my last play on Thronebreaker, which Witcher Tales where last time that we left off. We had done some things. Uh, we had actually gone through this town, which is burnt to a crisp. Um, we got a new guy with us, an engineer, kind of a, a mini Reynard Odo. Um, but besides that, we got this whole area still to do, so I guess we'll get a move on. I mean... <laughs> I took like, what, three episodes to do this tiny bit here? So this is gonna take fucking ages. Absolute fucking ages. We can increase our um, morale here. Let me just go down here real quick first. To see what uh, what's going on around here. We have a uh, point of interest and a point of interest. There's some recruits and stuff. Uh, another point of interest and a battle and a puzzle. Holy shit. A lot of stuff from that, actually. Well, alright then. Uh, what, what. Well, let me grab this first. Reach the oh. walls, plowing traitors. Where's the king? Why'd he leave us a blacklad mercy? They took everything. I'd head to the wood, but my fear of the Scoyatel. They took everything. I'd right, head to the dude. wood, but my fear of the Scoyatel. Little bitch. Fucking little whiny son of a... Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I'll get the morale then. There's a chance that I will be able to... Uh... There's a fucking crossroad. I could have fast traveled here. God damn, that's the second time that's happened in this level. Um, I'm almost tempted to send out scouts. At this point, I think the 50 bucks doesn't really matter anymore. I'm not going to get much from this. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow, never mind. we got a whole bunch of shit. I think it is just straight up in a circle around you or something, but... That was a large circle then, because we're all the way over here. I don't know. Fine. Yeah, I don't think the 50, 50 bucks really matters all that much anymore, to be honest. That said... I don't really miss too many things, but I think I feel like so far. I mean, you would say that, or I would say that. But Neve's ears caught the sound of a ruckus coming from the camp. Feet, Ingrid, a pox upon you all! It was her quartermaster hurling oaths at the peasants she had freed from the Nilfgaardian slave convoy. A few had stolen supplies under the cover of darkness and escaped into the woods. Terror and dread gripped the other freed prisoners. Neve mulled over what to do with them. And Reynard, as always, offered some advice. I was going to say that I don't think <clears throat> that so far I've missed anything. But again, I would say that because how would I know? What's up, Reynard? It's high time want? they went off on their own, Your Grace. They are too great a hindrance. They slow our march, divert our soldiers from more important tasks. And now this. Gascon was listening to their conversation. Neve shot him a questioning look. I opposed taking them in. So, for consistency, I now oppose forcing them to leave. We made their miserable lives our responsibility, did we not? Well then, that is a burden we cannot simply shrug off. That makes no sense. No, I, I don't... <laughs> Gascon's not the kind of guy who would switch his opinion like that, I don't think, but... Anyway. Um, no, I'll let, him, I'll let him stay. Let us not mince words. We cast off these peasants now, they shall die. Meave said in the end. Let them stay. But I want them watched. They cause any more trouble, military justice they shall face. Understood? The freed prisoners sighed with relief. The infantrymen assigned to watch over them, however, grumbled their disapproval of the Queen's decision. It is an army, not a shelter, they said. Meave's ears surely caught the complaint. But the Queen had never let the opinions of others guide her in such matters, trusting only her own judgment. Except she took advice from two different people. I right, didn't lose morale for it, though. Did oh, never mind, we did lose morale for it. Okay. <laughs> well, fuck you, game. Uh, Alright, we'll go up north first, I think. There is something there, but I can't really get there from here, I don't think. So yeah, we'll go up this way first. A point of interest. Ah, oh, doggo! Alright, whatever happens, the doggo is coming with us. Not liking the looks of this, Gascon said, furrowing his brow. Neve followed his gaze. Before them, beside the road, stood a hut with a scorched thatch roof. Why? Huts abandoned, yet dried fruit and mushrooms hang from the eaves. Famine raging all around and no one's been tempted. I'd send a scout if I were you. The Queen did as Gascon suggested and sent three infantrymen to reconnoiter. They entered the hut and found only silence that was soon broken by a blood-curdling growl. The soldiers ran out at full speed, tripping over their own legs. Meave drew her sword, convinced a horde of neckers or ghouls would soon attack. But her fears proved unfounded. 
Instead of monsters, out of the hut came a shaggy dog, a torn scrap of fabric clutched in its teeth. Uh, milady, one of the soldiers began, his face red with embarrassment and his hands covering a hole in his breeches. Uh, was dark as a well inside, uh, and that hound, it, it jumped out at us all of a sudden, biting it and snapping. <laughs> Bad boy, Gascon said with a smile, then pulled a hunk of dried sausage from his bag. Bought by this generous offering, the dog calmed down at once. Further examination showed the dog was the hut's only resident. Like many others in Edirne, its owners had disappeared without a trace. Their loyal mutt still guarded the premises, waiting for his master's return. Let's take him with us, Gascon said. Otherwise, he'll die here, of his own hunger or someone else's. I mean, <laughs> this is exactly what I want, so... Doggo! A watchful sentry like this could prove useful in our camp, said the Queen. Fine, he can join. But he shall need a name. How about Reynard? Proposed Gascon, a cheeky grin smeared across his face. That way, he'll come when you call, sit on command and always be a heel. <clears throat> uh, always heel, that is. Watch your words, said Reynard hand tightly gripping the hilt of his sword. Or you'll learn I'm not at all as tame as you believe. Enough, both of you. That's an order. As for you... The Queen took a good look at the dog, who still had a scrap of fabric in his teeth. Since it seems you've a taste for the cloth of the nether regions, I dub you... Knickers. Will that do? The dog wagged its tail vigorously, as if thoroughly pleased with its new name. Meave's company marched off, a furry new recruit richer. Please tell me that's actually a card. Yes, Nickers. <laughs> and I got uh, nice. It's in this game too, not just in Gwent. Who would not take this dog on? Come on. All right. I don't care how good this fucking card is. I'm putting it in my goddamn deck. Nickers. Immune permanent resilience. Well, that's generally quite good. Um, when you play a gold card, summon Nickers from your deck. This unit may raid your hand. For yummy treats. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I assume it doesn't actually mean anything, but... Um, he's immune too. Wow, okay. So, so uh, when you play a gold card, so that's any of these ones. Yeah, we're definitely adding him in. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, you, you play one of the guys, basically, and he comes in. That, that makes sense, because the gold ones are named people, I guess. So he's like, hey, I want to join. His permanent resilience is generally pretty quite good. Pretty good. He's not a particularly good card. He's only five strength. But if you don't have to play, like you don't want to have him in your hand, you want to have him be summoned. This is a free uh, five strength uh, creature, basically, or card. So yeah, I'll take that. It's not a fantastic card, but fuck it, it's good enough. All right. Uh, no more resources here, right? Nope. All right. Let's get it away. Knickers. It's funny, but it's not really a great name. It would have been nice if I, if I was able to choose a name. That's what I. That's what I. That's the. That's what I would have wanted. But oh well. Get this here wood. There's the chest we looted before. We've been here before. There's a puzzle. All right. Probably my least favorite thing in the game is puzzles. No, I don't dislike them necessarily. I just don't. If I had to choose, they were probably at the bottom. I think. In the fog. In order to evade Nilfgaardian patrols, me veered from the main road. This detour, however, presented other dangers. The Lyrians lost their way riding through a mist-draped forest, following a narrow overgrown path. They stumbled upon a ruined homestead. It appeared uh, abandoned, yet appearances can be deceiving. Do not let Meave die and eliminate this fucking thing. Alright. Eliminate. Holy crap. Immobile permanent resilience doomed. Removes the unit from the game after it removes the graveyard. Okay. On turn start, spawn two foglets. Alright, so we have Rivian Sapper. Stray Slinger. What is her? She's immobile. How can she even die? Um the Slinger Wagenberg. And Lyrian Hajduk give one charge to Carl on the right, so that'd be for him. Okay. 
No idea. Let's find out. Every turn on turn and move one road towards the opponent. If on the melee road, destroy a random palisade instead. If there are no palisades, destroy a meave. Damage the ancient foglet by five. It's the death wish. Alright. Um... Okay. Um... Okay, so we gotta kill nine of these things somehow. Okay, this is crazy. How is this even gonna work? Because they're gonna move this way, and then move that way, and then it destroys the Wagenberg, right? I guess we'll find out. I guess I need to sling him back next turn. Catch! Oh, they both took damage at least, that's something. Oh, never mind, okay. They can't get free yet, I got it, I got it. Um... If I don't do anything right now, four of these things will die and then we're basically fucked. I can't kill two of them right now with this and then do another two damage. Or I can just hurt a bunch of them right now. I guess you want to have a fucking row of shit, don't you? To murder, like, all in one turn with one sapper, I guess. Thing about slings, they hide well. I don't know if that's correct or not, but... Oh, nice, that one took the damage as well, from the fire. Okay. I have no idea whether this is correct or not, but... In the oh, you're dead. oh my god, I thought it fucked up for a second there, but it didn't. Okay, I gotta kill five more of them. I think we got it, because this thing will do enough. It's gonna be a right good levy, big and beautiful. Yeah, we got it. Easily. Don't even need that second charge. So we got damage. We got four damage right here. Yeah. Alright. That was easy enough. I've, I've kind of felt like the earlier puzzles are much more difficult or something. I don't know, it seems like these ones have probably got more different solutions that you could do them because I, I had an extra charge left over as well. It's gonna be easy. Right, well, got me some loot. Always good. This forest belongs to the Einscheide. Leave this place at once, cursed Doin, or you shall remain here for all eternity. Eldane. That's that guy we cannot trust, apparently. Why is there a rat there? Random rats is what I'll call you. Could have called them knickers, I suppose. Right. Guess we're going this way then. Make sure I actually didn't leave any loot behind. No, I did not. Ooh, there's definitely going to be something happening here. Ambush or some shit. Neve and her companions neared the Moulderwood, a dense, ancient forest of trees whose tangled branches had witnessed the conjunction of the spheres. It was not until King Vidamont's day that a road was finally carved through the primeval thicket, significantly shortening the journey from Rosberg to Aldersburg. Even when peace reigns, danger rules this road, Rayla said. Now, now no one dares travel it. At the edge of the wood by the road stood an enormous willow. Its branches swept down to cover its trunk, looking for all the world like long tresses shrouding a woman's face. Meave had an ill premonition. She did not like the sickly sweet aroma wafting from this tree, nor the metallic buzzing of insect wings. She sent a scout to investigate. He drew aside the drooping branches and stumbled back. There were men bound to the tree, covered in sap oozing from gashes in its trunk. 
Its heavy scent had attracted swarms of insects, flies, wasps, bees and beetles. They seethed over the bound men, crawling in and out of their ears and nostrils. Eldane welcomes us to his wood, Rayla whispered. Meave stepped towards the tree and saw the men stuck to it were all still alive. Those the elves had caught recently writhed and howled for rescue. Those hanging longer merely followed the queen with half-crazed, bloodshot eyes. You can free the captives or keep my distance from the tree. Uh, I don't think there's something bad about this, but... I want to kill them, right? Or do I want to kill them? I guess the ones who have been there for a long time, probably. Yeah. Well? Are you to stand there all day? Meave screamed to her dumbstruck Lyrians. Free them! At once! Her soldiers needed no more prompting and set about sawing at the ropes with their blades. As soon as they had freed the first captive, before even a word of thanks could be uttered, a flaming streak soared through the air and stuck in the tree. The oozing resin burst into flames, engulfing the prisoners as well as the soldiers who had come to their aid. Elder speech battle cries rang out from the woods as elven warriors launched their attack. Nilkansia! It's a trap! cried Reynard. Defend the Queen! Alright, well, I did say there was gonna be a fight here. I guess I on the one hand should have seen it coming. On the other hand. I don't know. But also eight recruits from that though. Delirian uh Eldane's ambush. Delirians fought in a very Veritable inferno, choking and drowning in a sea of crimson smoke, surrounded by the horrific screams of men whose skin had begun to melt and warp. The ambushing elves appeared as spectres, black paint streaked across their faces, eyes smoldering with their virulent hatred for humankind. I would say, actually, it's probably still a good thing, because now at least they're all gonna die. I mean, it's not a great death, dying in flames, but they were all fucking gonna, you know, we rather that than hanging on that tree for, I don't know how many days, dying slowly, right? I don't know. I don't know what I choose. Probably I'd probably choose the flames. Single round. Alright. High them cards. On round start, spawn fire on each enemy row. Okay. So that's just Okay. Great. Um it's only one round, so we wanna have as much uh I can do I can fucking flame you guys down as well. Let's get the Arbalest out here. Uh, that'd be really good here, actually, I think. Don't know if I want the fake floor and let's get rid of it now. I don't think I need the decoy. Unless I get uh, Raynard. Or the other guy, the engineer. Um. Don't want that. Don't want a slinger. Maybe? Probably not. Not a regiment drummer. Keep your heads in the fight! Yeah, take that. They'll seek to blind us with shock and awe! You have a magical trophy on the boat, whenever an ally takes damage strength myself by two, yeah, this guy's gonna be carrying me this round, I think. Uh, alright, well, everything's on fire, so... Army's a waste of time for one like me. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Nay, Duane Vekamist. Ah. Order damage unit by two if it was already boosted damage by six instead. Right. I'm gonna return the favor on this uh Catch! This here fire you got going on. Kill them! Kill them all! I was gonna wait on this, but I might just die, so. Uh, Give me right. a target. Put that on you. Just bomb this row here. I smell a leak. Hey, uh, you guys can burn my lanes down, but I can return the favor. No damn problem right there. I Wait, shall not cool fail! Line? Oh my god, it's a cool line, yeah. I need this fire to kill them. Whenever a non elf unit is destroyed, boost this unit by two. Okay, so it, it lives off of me dying, basically. You fiend. Um, oh man, he's gonna fucking carry me so damn hard, dude. Alright. Um, I can do 5 damage to it directly. Uh, or, because I'm not gonna kill it anyway. 
Arbalista, your command. Deal two damage. And then deal another four. Ah, I was really hoping that that would kill that one. I might lose some minions here soon. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, because these three could all die. On us. Oh, he's got another one. So that, that thing's probably going to get boot busted right, buffed right now. No, nothing died. Wow, we got lucky there. Not that it really matters, because I can't really kill it. I could do, again, five damage to it, but that doesn't really seem that useful. Um, I need to put down some regiment drummers. Left, right, left, right. So if we do get Reynard Odo from our order... Ooh. Yeah, it's just going to get buffed by four right now. Oh, only two. What? Oh, one of those must have been an elf. Wait, what? No, they're both humans. Oh, it must have taken two damage from the fire as well. No. Because I don't know what the fuck just happened. Um... Okay. I guess I'll just... I'm a deal some damage. Next time your opponent plays a unit with higher power, damage into its power is equal to War Dancers. Oh, wow, that was unlucky. Oh, oh, never mind! Was it, though? Was it unlucky? I'm not sure about that. Every one damage he took, it went up by two. Pretty solid. Um, I could once again do five damage to that. I don't think I'll just play another Regiment Drummer right now. Although it is going to get buffed, but I can't again, kill it in a There will be a 33% chance it dies, but it's not high enough, is it? No, it, it would have died had I done this, but... Oh, wow. And then he wouldn't have been able to play that card. Well, oh, too bad. Right, I'm gonna play you first. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Right. Uh, yeah. Army is a waste of time I'll for one I'll feed you like to me. the crows! Lock an enemy unit, death wish, remove enemy units, lock. What does that mean? Lock an enemy unit. Status that disables a card's abilities, removes other statuses, disables and flips over face down cards. Wh which one has been locked? Oh, this one. Oh, of course it is. It's a bit unfortunate. But can you not do that, please? Aye. I... 57 strength, my goodness. Everything alright? I really ought to have played this last turn, actually, because if I... There was four... Yep. Four minions that could have died there. Oh, and three of them did, so I'm gonna miss out on six from this. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, do I play this first? I think I do. Because then this guy's got a... He's got more chance of take, getting a lot more buffing from this going on. Hey, and there's Nickers. Wait, who did I even play? Can you play a gold card? Oh, I guess that's also a gold card. Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. Uh, I've got my ability, I'll do that next turn. No reason to do it now. Might be able to kill some Have more strength, interesting. My love. Hello? After two turns on turn, start damage activation units by six. If any were destroyed, move to the other side of the battlefield. Wait, what the fuck just happened? No, I can't even do that. Alright, let's... Just hit you for four, I guess. And then this thing will die as well, anyway. Take my 83, Ike. Prepare to fight, if you've any honor. My fucking ace up, <laughs> up my sleeve right this there. Is elven land, you, this elven AI is like, oh, I think we got this. Don't and let all them regroup! Finish off the wounded! That's what I, what I say when, um, like, when I joke, basically, to the AI, like, oh, see if you can make up a hundred and something points in one turn. Good luck. And then <laughs> fucking pull out Ike 83. That'd be a pretty good, pretty good thing. The battle done, Meave surveyed the carnage, her breath still ragged. The thick stench of blood, sap, and ash she sucked in made her stomach churn and head swoon. The Scoyatel. I'd heard of their cruelty, but... The queen said, sheathing her sword. But I... Never have I countenanced a thing like this. Black Rayler who had just extracted her blade from between an elven gorilla's ribs, smiled darkly. Worst is yet to come, my lady. The queen regrouped her forces and marched into the Moulderwood. The Lyrians sang none of their usual marching songs. Instead, they walked in silence, eyes darting constantly to their flanks. All right. Uh, quite a few resources from that, though. So yeah, people died. I didn't really get anything out of it, except for resources. Speaking of, I have enough to build something, apparently. 
Well, let's have a look then, eh? Just the stuff I don't care about. Literally nothing here that I would currently consider putting in the deck. Except for Stray's Bomber Plus. Apply fire to an enemy around double the chance it will damage. Oh my god, yeah, I want that. Okay, we're saving up for this for sure. That's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. War Wagon Plus might be alright too. Again, it works quite well with some of the cards we have, but... Stray's Bomber for sure, though. That one plus. Hear that, is... nightingales, unmindful of war, they sing on. Those are no birds, my lady. Just scoitel scouts use animal cries to communicate. Tell the men to hold to the road, my lady. Anyone wanders in the trees, they don't come out. All right. Puzzle on a battel or a battler. Wait, hold on. What's over here? That goes up that way. Okay, let's stick out of this wood for now. Go down this way first. There's a battle. Okay, let's do some down here first. There's a puzzle down here, right? Yes. Let's do one of these. Ooh, a golden chest. Nice some loot right there. Alright, that's fine. That's all fine and dandy. There's me loot. Alright, nothing else around here apparently. Battle! Well, puzzle, but... Prayer interrupted. Located at crossroads, shri shrines of Melitele were meant to protect travelers from evil. Yet when Queen Meave approached the one to pray, her force suddenly came under fire, victims of an ambush. Something irony stings. Sometimes irony stings, even. Reduce the power of all enemy archers to one. Do not let me die. To one? That seems very specific. That's oddly specific. Alright. What do we have here? Whenever this spire changes, damage me by one. Oh, there's Meave. Who has one strength. What the fuck? And then there's this guy, a powerful of nobility. Nice name. Becker's Dark Mirror. Damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15, then boost the lowest unit by that amount damaged. Okay, so we can buff Meave pretty harshly on that. Draw and play, play two Blitz units from your deck. Just Arbalest, okay, so we don't want to hurt those because then, yeah. Um, choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck so we can use that on more Arbalests. Choose a bronze ally on the battlefield that are in hand and add two copies of it to your deck because we would, we would want to do that first. Well, first we want to do this. I think we want to do that. Um, Give me a target. Two and then three. We'll take this one down. Then we do four. Okay, hold on. Let's just. I'll start. do your command. <sighs> Doubt I'll ever pay off these school loans. Alright. I'm a world Oh shit, I fucked up already. Laria! Okay, this might still work out. One bolt's all I need. Give yep. me a time. Abolista, your command. Got him. <laughs> Nickers. Hey, we got Becker's Dark Mirror. That was the one that summons two Blitz cards from your deck, doesn't it? That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Let's have a look. Let's have a wee look, shall we? Uh, damage, oh, that's the damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15 and boost the lowest unit by the amount of damage. This is a nice swing. 
But is it really worth it? That is a it's a trophy. Or not a trophy trinket, sorry. Oh, tired. Um Is that is that worth it? It's a, it kind of depends, isn't it? Because it, sometimes it doesn't say it can't target uh, bosses or anything. So it can do 15 damage and then boost a minion. Although it boosts the lowest unit by the amount of damage on the battlefield. So if the enemy has a lower unit, then actually it buffs them. So it doesn't do anything. It can kill something as well. I think it's not bad. It's not bad. But do I want to take any of my other cards out right now? I guess it's kind of similar to Fake Florin. They're both kind of swing cards. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one out and put that one in. I'm gonna try it out. Could be good, could be horrible. Who knows? What I do know is that I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we're gonna continue this and murder people. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.